Well hi folks, for this trip I'm heading north to a very wintry Glencoe in Scotland. Now there's an image that I've had in my mind for quite some time now and for the previous three years I've been trying to capture this image and I've been unsuccessful. Now this is due to many factors, as many things must align perfectly for me to get this shot. So in this vlog I'm going to talk about my thought process being out and about in the field and the decisions that I was making on the spot, working under the conditions that I was given, and how I came this close, a ball here away from capturing the perfect image. Um, you'll get to see Glencoe in its winter glory, which really was spectacular, um, and I'll put up a few extra images that I captured on that day as well, which I was quite pleased with. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. Well, the night before, I went through my normal routine, packed my bag, set a very early alarm clock, 3am to be exact, got up, made a quick coffee for the road, and a few hours later I arrived at Glencoe. I got suited and booted, and before I knew it, I was hiking up Ben Acrelest in the dark. Well, hi folks. Uh, I'm just across from Booklet of Moor in Glencoe and <coughs> it is an absolute winter wonderland up here this morning. The conditions are absolutely incredible. Um, very early start, <coughs> as you've seen, 3am start. Um, it's just before sunrise, still got a few stars out so I'm trying to do a bit of time lapse here. I've actually came back a bit from my camera that's re recording the time lapse, just so I'm not flashing any, any light, interrupting anything. And I'm hoping to get a nice sunrise, get some nice light just clipping this. The full landscape is covered in snow, so if we get a nice bit of light, it should look absolutely amazing. Anyway, I'm going to get back down here and double check. This time lapse is still running. Yeah, so this perfect image that I want to capture, it's basically this image that I took a few months back, but under different conditions. There has to be a fresh dusting of snow covering the full valley. Um, I also want to capture light trails of the cars driving through the A85, which is a road you can see in the foreground, curving round about the mountain. Now the mountain in the, the frame is Bucolet of Moor, a very iconic location in Glencoe and a very popular hill. But I want to capture some star trails above that as well, and then I'll exposure blend or time blend all of these scenes together to create one image. Now it doesn't sound like a big ask, sounds pretty straightforward, but when you think about it there has to be a fresh dusting of snow. The temperature has to then stay around about zero or below so the snow doesn't melt. Miraculously the clouds, the snow clouds, rain clouds, whatever it's been, have to clear and there has to be clear skies for a day or two after that. It must fall on a Friday night or a Saturday night for me <laughs> because I work during the week. So yeah, it is quite a big ask. <laughs> There's a few things that need to line up perfectly and the chances of that happening are very, very slim. But I suppose that's what photography is all about, getting back, being persistent, revisiting the same locations time and time again, trying to capture the perfect shot that you've got in your own, your own head. But yeah, back to the video. As you can see, the light was creeping in pretty fast, and even though I left at 3am, it still wasn't enough time to get up the hill in these snowy conditions and capture some star trails. With the fresh snowfall, the conditions underfoot were very treacherous and it was too dangerous for me to stand at the edge of the cliff and capture the road below, so I had to revert to plan B. I say plan B, but it was more really a quick decision on the spot. To try and create some foreground interest, I was going to use myself in the frame. In order to do this, I connected my flash and set it to half power, which was pretty bright. As I was shooting long exposures of around 15 seconds, the flash was an attempt to get me nice and sharp in the frame. This was more difficult than expected, and as you can see there was some ghosting appearing round about the edges of myself. I also noticed that the walking stick I had in my left hand was missing, which looked slightly unnatural, so I tweaked my position and ran back and forth a few times until I was satisfied with the result. I even tried sitting down, but that just looked like I was waiting on the mountain rescue chopper coming to save me, so that idea got scrapped completely. Anyway, here is the final image. It's three exposures blended to create the one image. I'm very happy with the result, but it won't stop me persistently returning until I get this shot I'm after.
Well, it's just past 8 o'clock, sun's due to rise at 24 minutes past 8, but over this direction here, which is eastward, which I'll show you in a second, um, there's a big bank of cloud coming across the horizon, which is going to block the sun, I think, hitting the bookletter of more. Slightly disappointing, but I can't really complain because the conditions have been absolutely superb so far this morning. <coughs> um, I'm sure I got a few nice images with the stars out um, and myself standing looking right across the valley, it's absolutely stunning. So yeah, come away with one image, I'm very very happy. But let's see, I'm hoping this cloud's going to break and we get some light as well. See how it goes! As you can see, there was some lovely light clipping Bucolette of Moor, but that's not what caught my eye. There were some lovely patterns and textures directly in front of me being created in the snowdrifts, so I decided to focus on that for this next shot and use it as a main feature in the image. Well, what a morning it's been so far. Um, it's about half past nine now. And I'm just heading down to the popular spot. So we get another picture of the Bickle behind me there. Um, the wee waterfall's been here many times before. But I've never had conditions like this. I'm hoping to get some snow over some rocks. Ice, I don't know, the temperature's about one degrees now, so a lot of the snow will be melting today with this sun. Come on, look at this. <laughs> me back at the car. Conditions are not that great for taking photographs this time of day. It's 10am in the morning. The light's a bit harsh with the snow and <coughs> um, dark shadows. There's not much detail in the shadows. It's too, just a bit too harsh. Um, still absolutely spectacular. I might have got a nice black and white image you'll see. But yeah, I'm going to get a coffee and I'll take a quick picture of <laughs> my setup up here on my dashboard. There we go. Who needs a 500 quid tripod when you can buy a bunch of bananas for a couple of quid? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get this coffee and get on the road. Cheers! Well, that brings this short video to an end. Please stay tuned for my next trip, where myself and my brother-in-law Ross, we headed way up northwest Scotland to photograph the iconic hill Sylvain for sunrise, and we got some very unique and special conditions which I cannot wait to share with you. If you enjoyed the content, please feel free to subscribe, comment or critique below, or you can follow me on my socials. And once again, thanks for watching, I really do appreciate it. Cheers!